Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're working on a newer model LG dryer that will not start. So if you have an LG dryer, a newer model, and you press the power button, but nothing happens, more than likely it's your main control board. So go ahead and unplug the unit and remove the two Phillips screws in the back. There's one on the left and one on the right. And what I was about to say is I'm starting to see this problem occur more with these newer models with the whole display issues with no power. Okay, so now having the screws removed, you're just going to press the panel back and lift straight up and just put it somewhere safe. Okay, so right here is the main control board. They actually put this on top of the dryer, which is fairly easy to get to and replace. So you have two Phillips screws. There's uh, one on the right and one on the left. Okay, now having the screws removed, just flip it over towards its left. Just be careful not to yank out the, uh, or yank on the wires too much. So just kind of just be gentle, I guess you would say. And then once it's flipped over, you'll just clip it. Uh, you may need a flathead uh, pry up underneath it. It just has a couple clips. So you can take a flathead and press in and pry it outwards. Okay, so this unit I previously diagnosed, so this is why the harness is loose. This is a display harness that sends power to the display. Uh, like I said in the past, I've done multiple of these same dryers and they've always been the main control board. So what we're gonna do now is show you exactly how to get the right part number. So as you see here, it has a one four at the end with the part number. If you look at the board here, you'll have the same number, but the one four as you see here, this means a lot. So you want to make sure this exact number plus a 1-4 is the same part number that you order to make sure you get the correct board. So you see the 1-4 and the 1-4 on the board. And obviously above that you have the same part number. So that's how you get the correct part number. Never go by Sears website or some random uh, website. Make sure you go off the one that's on the board. Okay, so now let's remove the harnesses. As you can see, I'm having a little trouble with these harnesses. So what you need to do is sometimes you could take some of the pry underneath it since the board's already broken. But one thing you do not want to do is yank on the wires and yank the wires out of the harnesses. Okay, so I removed all the harnesses from the main control board. So how they're connected, they have little clips, as you can see here, they're pressed in. Uh, the bigger ones are hard to move, but one thing you don't want to do is yank on the wire. Do not yank. So you can kind of, if you can somehow get a smaller flathead, you can pry underneath and pry up. But probably half the size of this one would be more helpful. That way you can kind of get up there and pry outwards. And obviously let's make sure we have it unplugged. So this you just kind of slide out gently, make sure not to yank on the wires. wires. So the new board doesn't come with this uh, top cover, so you have to take this off and put it on the new board. Um, I use a flathead as you'll see here in a moment. I bend it, it only goes on one way if you look at it fairly close, but just kind of Pry just enough to push to push it off. If that makes sense. But you don't want to pry too much and crack it. So just uh, a mediocre pry and then press it off.
Okay, so now we're going to take the new board, we're just going to slide underneath and just clip it on. I tried just to press it on there using a little shrink, but it did not work. It can only go in one way, so you have to kind of close it halfway, I guess you would say, and then press up and it'll just click right on. And now we'll just slide the board right up underneath the harnesses. And now let's just uh, reconnect all the uh, harnesses to the main control board. Uh, they only go go on one way so you can't really mess this up so just uh and they're also color coded Okay, so once everything's reconnected, you can go ahead and plug it in and make sure everything works. Just be careful not to get shocked. Or you can wait to the end. As you can see here, everything's working now. And like I said uh, previously, this is a common problem with the newer LG gyres with the main control boards that sit on top of the drum. Okay, so right here I actually messed up. I put the harness on the left and the left output. But I should have moved it to the right. So as you can see here, I click everything back together and then, then I try to I line it up, but the harness is not allowing me because I'm basically pulling on it. So I'm trying to figure out why is it not giving me the link to connect it correctly or to line up the holes to the uh, house and the screw back in. So as you can see here, I find my mistake. I move it to the right side and not the left side. So it's definitely something that we do not want to do. And then just make sure all the wires and everything's connected correctly. And then the DC wire output to the display, put it in a little groove there before you shut it. And just clip everything back down into place. And then it should go on with no problem. Okay, great, so we see everything is lined up now and no stress on the harness. So let's go ahead and put our screws back in. Okay, place the panel back on. And then when you put it on, just set it back and then slide it forward. It should click right into place. And then reinstall the two Phillips screws on the back. Okay, that's pretty much it. Just plug back in the unit and give it another test run and make sure everything's working right. And there we go. So I hope this video was helpful and please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. Thank you.